So this question says, in the standard xy coordinate plane. So I make it a habit that as soon as I see that wording, right, in the standard xy coordinate plane, um, but I don't see an actual standard xy coordinate plane provided, I think about the strategy plug-in picture, which for me just means if anything, if a if something can be drawn, right, if something is described in a question that can be drawn, I suggest that you draw it. So I'm going to draw an xy plane. I don't know anything about it quite yet, but at least I have it here as I, as I move forward. Point M with coordinates 5, 4. Okay, so now I have some information about this coordinate plane. And because I realize that this visual that I'm drawing may become very helpful in answering the question, I'm going to be very particular about making it as exact as I can, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It, will, it won't be perfect, but I'm going to make it as exact as I can. So I'm going to try to make my spacing just about even here. So I'm going to count out to five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. And then up to four. So one, two, three, four. So that's four. So this point right here is point M. Then it says, uh, is the midpoint. So that's good to know. So that's a midpoint of A, B. And B has coordinates of seven, three. So I'm going to continue on trying to continue on with the same spacing. So this is six and this is seven. I know that this is three. And this is, therefore, point B, which tells me that A has to be right over here somewhere, which is useful to know. Um, in fact, I know I learned this little trick that I'd like to share with you. So we know that there's a midpoint formula, but slope also works for um, finding endpoints from a midpoint. So here's how I do it. So I'm going to so to get from M to B. I go down one and over twice. So to get from M to A, right, I know A is in that area, I'm going to go up once, right, so I'm at five, and to the left twice. So that'd be four, three, so I'd be here. So that must be point A right there. Hopefully that makes sense, right? So if it were more spread out, the only difference here between maybe how you think about a normal slope is I'm not going to ever simplify or reduce the fraction of my slope, right? So if they were further apart, I just say, well, how far am I rising or falling? How far am I running to the left or right? Whatever those exact numbers are is how I would get from the midpoint um, to a missing endpoint. So let's keep reading and see if, um, if I did all that properly and for, you know, for a purpose. So B has coordinates 7, 3. We already have that. What are the coordinates of A? Well, yeah, I already found that, right? So the coordinates of A would be 3, right? Because we're at 3 and 5. So 3 comma 5 are my coordinates, and that is choice D. Now recognize, even if you did not use the slope method that I used, because we have a visual here, instead of just imagining this xy coordinate plane in our heads, we pretty much know where, where point A needs to be. And we know that 1711 for choice A, that's way out of the picture, right? That's way out here somewhere. 92 is also, right, like way over here somewhere, so that can't be it. 6 comma 3.5, that doesn't make sense either. Um, so, you know, some of this and then negative 3, negative 5 absolutely makes no sense. So 3, 5 truly is the only answer that even makes sense, even if you're just using logical reasoning and you didn't um, use any slope or, or midpoint formula. But I think the key, which is why I make it a habit to do, the key is just draw the picture. Don't imagine it. Actually draw it. And it makes a question like this extremely easy.